Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. Oh, this video here started Saturday, July 18, 2020. I had a problem with my admission systems. This is the first time I've had major issues with a DEF system in a truck. I've been around with DES since 2010, I believe. I have never had this problem happen to me. Has it, has it happened to you? Follow along. This is a couple day video and it updates along the way. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Rouse Trucking. If you're new, please subscribe and make sure you got thumb it up. <laughs> This is Ralph from Rouse Trucking. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Rouse Trucking. It is July 18th, 2020. I'm just barely Carolina. Took my 10 hour break. Before I parked last night, I had a thing saying I had bad DEF. I had this last week and then it went away. Here, let me show you after the intro what is it doing now. Make sure you thumb up the video. Hopefully when I can make this thing to the plant so they can look. I'm gonna try to put some more def in it when I get up to the loves. See if that helps. Hey, time to turn the key. This light right here means my refrigerator is on if anybody didn't know. Let's see what happens when I start this beast. Have to let the computer do all the cycling. All right, here we go. Before I even crank the key, stop engine immediately. Limp home mode, maximum D rate, must replace diesel exhaust fluid. How's the diesel exhaust fluid go bad? I have a feeling my filter might be bad. As you can see, this is my DEF gauge. It's blinking. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to drive home with this, drive to the plant. But halfway to the plant, there's a love truck stop and I'll put some DEF in this and hopefully it would shut up. Let's get on the road and see what happens. By the way, this is not the first time I've had trouble with this truck this last seven days. Wednesday coming in, I busted a radiator hose clamp, and I'll show you the photo of this here. So this truck was in the shop Wednesday, so they could replace my bunk fan because it broke. They checked my cooling system, make sure nothing else was going to break. But I didn't mention the def because it went away. I had no more issue after put def in it. As of Wednesday morning, when I first had that message saying, "Add better DEF fluid," DEF is the same. <laughs> nasty stinky fluid that's all it is so hopefully if i put more definite this thing will shut up and when i hopefully it'll last me this week so i can get a week work and then they can re fix the def system probably it's got a clog filter or something in it well well 20 minutes on hold with michelin i'll call i made it just barely outside the rest area <laughs> where I just took my 10 hour break. It put me on the clock moving. Here I sit. It will not let me go over five miles an hour. So I just got off the phone with them after 45 minutes, half hour talking and waiting and getting on hold and talking to them. So let's see what time it's gonna be to fix. And that's all she's doing. Sitting on the entrance ramp to the interstate from the rest area. Gotta love these new emission trucks. Okay, I forgot to mention, I broke down at 10.30 when I first called Michelin All Call. Finally got in touch with them. After 12 minutes, they hung up on me. Then I went through, had to call back. Finally got in touch with them at 11 o'clock. She took all my information the company information, truck information, and what was wrong. 
and said they would get back with me. An hour later, at 12 o'clock, I called up. The woman never did her job. She took my information, and it was 3 o'clock before that, almost 3 o'clock before that guy showed up. I just I forgot to mention that. If you notice at the beginning on Saturday, I had hair. No, I don't. I got a haircut Sunday when I was home. But if you notice the difference, this is a couple day vlog. Well, as you can see, it's 3.11. He's been here about 15 minutes. Computer will not let him do a parts reach in. Suit levels are high. He's gonna do a couple more things. And if not, I'm not gonna wait for a tow truck. Well, here it is, 3.35, and this mechanic is leaving. He couldn't get the region to go. So now let's wait for a tow truck. See how many hours this is gonna be. Yeah. All right, seven o'clock. I had to back it up all the way from up here. And now the wrecker's gonna come tell me backwards. And it's starting to rain. Yeah, I'll let you peek at the record. Oh, almost back to the plants. Jesus Christ. Peterbilt. As you can see, it is 9.30. I'm back at my plant here in North Carolina. I first called up at 10.30 this morning with the breakdown. There's the truck. And I talked to one of the shop guys before they went home. They don't have the sensor to fix the truck. They used the last one today. So I don't know if I'm going to a loaner truck or I'm going to wait till Monday to get the truck, this truck, running. We'll see. Thank you for riding with me. Thumb up the video. And if you're new, please subscribe. It's been one hell of a day. As you can see, it's now 7.20 at 8.06 p.m. I'm just now about ready to get on I-40, headed west to Mississippi. As you can see, there's the mileage. Truck broke down. 10.30 Saturday morning. Truck was supposed to have been ready at 6 o'clock this evening. Yeah, I didn't get it back until almost 7.30. Or right at 7.30. Here it is, a little after 8. Getting on the interstate. Going to do a couple hundred miles tonight. Tomorrow, I'll show you, in the same video here, I will show you what exactly what went wrong on this truck. As you can see, I ain't got no beep, 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 beeps, no lights, no flashies, none of that. I will tell you later what happened to this. Make sure you thumb up the video. If you're new, please subscribe. Cue the next segment. Now it is July 21st, 2020. My truck was supposed to have been ready on the 20th at 6 p.m. I got to the plant. Okay, we're still putting it back together. I didn't get my truck to almost 7.30. I drove, let's see. Let's see how many miles I drove so far. I did 300 miles last night. And I've had no more lights, no more issues. Thank God. Let me tell you what it was. Okay, the issue that shut this truck down was one sensor. That sensor determines if the diesel exhaust fluid that goes in the tank and goes in the regen system was good or bad. It was reading it was bad, so it would not shoot diesel exhaust fluid in the regen so I can regen the truck. It loaded up my suit and shut my truck down to five miles an hour. One sensor cost a tow truck, uh, a repair guy to come out. A tow truck, I was sitting on the side of the road, coming out of a rest area since 10.30 Saturday morning. And I didn't get the tow truck to get back to the plant till nine o'clock at night, as you saw in the video clips along the way. One sensor. Our work did not have it in, getting in stock until Monday, almost at lunch. And I didn't get the truck until 7.30, Tuesday, or Monday, July 20th, 2020. One sensor cost me a weekend of work, but I was able to go home. So, I'm happy for that. At least I wasn't broke down in another state sitting in a hotel for one sensor. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Have you had this issue happen to you? Where one set your, shut your truck down? It was a DEF sensor that checks your DEF fluid to make sure it is the right kind, the right whatever, to make it work. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.